Hello, Simon here from the UK Focusrite RedNet team. I'm here with ESV TV to talk to you about the brand new MP8R from the RedNet range. At a first glance, you can see a more rugged design, um, which makes it more live and touring friendly. You now have improved visual feedback on the front panel. So uh, as you can see, you receive feedback on your primary and secondary power supplies, um, equally with the, the network inputs. Um, you now have larger input metering on the preamps. Uh, you also have an info button, which allows you to recall primary, secondary IP addresses, unit names, um, and a number of different uh, pages providing you with information, useful information in the live scene when you know uh, you need to start recalling things quickly. Um, you now also have a phase inverse switch for each channel, um, a minus 20 dB pad for line level signals, and also an impedance switch at 2.4 kilo ohms. If we take a look at the back panel, we can see we now have two power IEC power supplies. These both come with locks. Um, we also have a primary and secondary Ethernet port. These are now the Ethercon connectors, um, which are far more robust for live instances. And you still have your eight XLR inputs on the back. So now in RedNet Control, you can see the uh, new MP8R. All of the new options are available to you within RedNet Control. At the bottom, you can see a comp button. This is a gain compensation function, meaning that if you have two consoles plugged in to the same uh, preamp on the network, and one console adjusts the input gain, this will compensate across the other console. Now, if we click on the information tab, we have a front panel lock, as mentioned, um, MIDI channel select, which was also available in the RedNet 4. We also have a Yamaha ID. This is uh, due to the fact that you can now control RedNet preamps from Yamaha CL consoles. You also have a gain compensation headroom feature of minus 3 and minus 6 dB. At the top of the RedNet MP8R screen, you can also uh, view very quickly which power and Ethernet ports are connected for redundancy purposes. Although the RedNet 4 was already successful in the live and studio industry, we had a large amount of demand for a 1U form factor with power and Ethernet redundancy. This allows a larger number of mic pre's to fit into a smaller rack space, allowing you to implement more stage box options. All of these models are available for purchase or hire from Eastwood Sound and Vision.